This timeline is a dynamic list, and as such may never satisfy criteria of completeness. Furthermore, please note that some events may only be fully understood and or discovered in retrospect. Background On 24 February 2022, Russia launched a comprehensive invasion of Ukraine, marking a major escalation of the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian war. The campaign had been preceded by a prolonged Russian military buildup since early 2021, as well as numerous Russian demands for security measures and legal prohibitions against Ukraine joining NATO. February 2022 The 24th of February on or about 3 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time, 6 o'clock Moscow Time, UTC plus 3, on the 24th of February, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced in a pre-recorded television broadcast that he had ordered a special military operation in eastern Ukraine. Minutes later, missile strikes occurred at dozens of cities across the country, including Ukraine's capital Kyiv. The Ukrainian Border Service stated shortly thereafter that its border posts with Russia and Belarus were under attack. Around 1600 UTC plus 2, Russian helicopter-borne troops captured Antonov Airport. However, a later Ukrainian counteroffensive successfully recaptured the airport and destroyed the Russian landing force. Around 1700 Coordinated Universal Time, 2000 Moscow Time, UTC plus 3, the Russian forces had captured the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the abandoned city of Pripyat. At 2200, 1 o'clock Moscow time, UTC plus 3, the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine announced that Russian forces had captured Snake Island in the Black Sea following naval and air bombardment. 17 civilians were confirmed killed, including 13 killed in southern Ukraine, 3 in Mariupol and 1 in Kharkiv. At least 40 Ukrainian soldiers were reported dead during the strikes. Russia reported that two civilian ships were bombed, resulting in the death of several people on board. In his second address on the war, President Joe Biden announced the total freezing of the assets of several Russian banks in the U.S., including Esperbank and VTB, the largest and second largest, respectively. He did not levy sanctions against Putin himself, however, nor decouple Russia from the global SWIFT banking exchange. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky announces 137 dead and 316 wounded. The 25th of February by 1.24, UTC plus 2, President Volodymyr Zelensky had ordered the full mobilization of the Ukrainian military for 90 days. He announced that all Ukrainian males aged 18 to 60 are banned from leaving the country. At 3.27, UTC plus 3, a captain and corporal from the Russian 11th Guards Air Assault Brigade surrendered to the armed forces of Ukraine near Chernihiv, concluding the Battle of Chernihiv. At 5.14, UTC plus 3, a Russian rocket strike hit a Ukrainian border unit in the village of Primorsky Posad, Pryazovsky Rayon, Zaporizhia Oblast. Multiple Ukrainian casualties were reported. See also list of military engagements during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine annexation of Crimea by the Russian Federation 2014 annexation of Crimea by Russia from Ukraine International recognition of the Donetsk People's Republic and the Luhansk People's Republic recognition status of Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics post-Soviet conflicts, military conflicts in the former Soviet Union's Second Cold War, post-Cold War era term war in Donbass, ongoing armed conflict in the Donbass region of Ukraine references.